afternoon once again with Dr. Ajayi and everyone, everyone. Um, well, I'm Bola Jola Soji and um, I'm a mother of three children and um, okay, and I'm a businesswoman. Okay, so my own stories have been I was told I had fibroids, but I was told, I, I was told, yes, because I went to see my doctor and they laid down my complaints because I normally have heavy periods. My menstrual periods are very heavy and it, it takes like seven days. It's like, like um, it starts like on Monday, I know it's going to end the next Monday. So it was very heavy and uh, very uncomfortable. Like normally during my period, I'll have to spend like three days at home. I'll not really be able to go out and I'll be in pain. I'll be in severe pain, lower abdominal pain and also lower back pain. And also even some cramps My in my cramps and I'll just be generally in pain. I'll not be able to go out. I'll not be able to concentrate on my work. You know, I'll be ill, almost able to the extent of wanting to throw up. And um, I'll not have peaceful night rest for at least one or two nights. So I went to see my doctor and I was told that, okay, you have, I have to remove the fibroid. And so that's how I now stumbled up upon HIFU. So when I was told I have to do a surgery to remove the fibroids, so I went online to look for alternatives. So in looking for the alternative, I stumbled upon the HIFU, um, treat, HIFU treatment. By then, it was not in Nigeria. So they explained that the machine would soon come to Nigeria. Then eventually, they, they started a WhatsApp group and they said, um, if we're interested, we could join the WhatsApp group. So I joined the WhatsApp group and um, I, I kept on learning a little more about the HIFU. And I, then I noticed that, okay, that is a, a new innovation. And I also noticed again that it's most of the people that were asking questions there were people looking for uh, the heart infertility problem, looking for children. Then I just made up my mind that, okay, one, I'm not looking for children again. And two, I'm a widow. And uh, at, right at that time, I was not ready to, uh, I, I thought that, okay, probably this uh, machine will be above what I could afford. So anyway, I pulled out of the, the group. Then someone from Nautica now, someone, with probably the admin now got in touch with me and asked me why I pulled out. So I told, I narrated all I've just said. I narrated and I was told that there's a, that there's a, there are three, there's an op op opening. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah, so anyway, so, so that's, that, that was how I stumbled upon Haifu and... Um, Somebody is disturbing your story. Who is disturbing your story? <laughs> Should I continue my story, sir? <laughs> well, I would have loved to continue because I, was, I benefited a lot from the from Haifu and Nodica. Oh, so I, I, I would love to share my story, you know. So anyway, okay, okay, sir. So um, that's how I... So that's how I was told, and and Nodica adopted me. Let me just put it that way. They ad adopted me as their special, their special patient. So I I was able to go through the I was able to go through the the process, and it's been a wonderful experience because um, number one, I didn't have to go under the knife. Uh, I didn't have to go under the knife, so um, that was really relieving. That I didn't have to be opened and stitched up and all that. And then number two was the whole experience also made me to know that I did not only have fibroids, but I also had adenomyosis. You know, so uh, hypo, the hypo procedure was able to treat, was able to treat both the fibroids and the adenomyosis. And then the beauty of this hypo is that um, the, after the treatments, I was able to, a few days after the treatment, I was up and about. But I just had to actually caution myself. I had to stay at home for four days, you know, just to obey what the doctor said. Okay, like rest for like two or three days. You know, but really I could get up and actually do whatever I want to do. I was not restricted. 
And so that was really, uh, that was really a plus. That was really a plus for me. And uh, yes, and then my cycle came and it was regular. It was just normal. The flow was not, it was just normal. It wasn't um, abnormal like before. So that has been my experience. Yeah, so I really, my appreciation goes to uh, Nodica, Haifu, and uh, Fibroid Care Center. <laughs>